We recently attended the U.S. Social Forum in June, where thousands of activists and organizers converged in Detroit from across the country. We brought cameras with us, and we asked people how they are organizing around and thinking about the commons. From Detroit to Providence to Los Angeles, people are reclaiming shared resources, creating new institutions for collective governance, and organizing around we instead of me. Things like the environment and the sky and things like that. I think that's only right that everyone owns it collectively. And like such things as like internet and rap music. If they're built for everyone around the world, why shouldn't everyone around the world own it? I guess I would consider public housing to be a problem. Some of the things that are common, I think, are the water farm sitting in the park, Beach River, Tompkins Square Park. Uh -huh. uh, just, you know, green space and being able to just hang out there. One thing that's the common in our neighborhood is the sense of community. The Lower East Side has been an immigrant neighborhood, yeah. a center for immigration for over 100 years now yeah. at this point. And that kind of sense of camaraderie and neighborhood and our owning the streets is something that we often have in common. Thus far we've got uh, nine murals up and five to go. Huh. So we're using color, art, and we're really using canvases as stages wow. for them to engage, inform, and transform communities. In we're realizing that Public transit and urban agriculture and open space are all hitting upon the same themes in regards to privatization, in regards to ownership, in regards to um, community and seeing these links we're trying to figure out how to frame that and we came upon the um, issue of the commons or, or this name commons. Yeah. There are certain things that were never meant to be commodified. Air, our air, our water, resources that we need to share and ensure uh, the sustainability of, and that's why I would say that I believe in the commons.